Python provides 64 built-in types and functions. Examples of types include integers, floats, and strings. Examples of the built-in functions include the absolute value function and the minimum. The key types and functions required to perform numerical analysis and analyze data are imported from modules. While we will occasionally make use of modules from the Python standard library, such as the math module, the statistics module, or the IO module, we will rely heavily on modules from the PyData ecosystem. We will regularly use types, for example, an array, and functions, for example, mean and standard deviation, provided by NumPy, Pandas, SciPy, Matplotlib, and stats models. The import statement comes in three flavors. The basic statement is used as import module, where module can be any module or submodule from an installed package. We will usually use a variant of this, which assigns a short name or canonical name to a module. This version uses the keyword as to assign the canonical name to the module so that all of the features of the module are available using the canonical name. Canonical names are usually short and are widely standardized. Many examples on sites like Stack Overflow omit the import statement from example code and directly refer to the canonical name. The final method to import features is used to selectively import specific functions or types. This version uses the syntax from module import function. Multiple functions are imported using commas to separate the entries. The PyData ecosystem is comprised of a set of modules that are widely used in numerical Python and for analyzing data. NumPy, canonical name NP, provides an array type that is used as the building block throughout the PyData universe. Pandas extends the NumPy array to handle heterogeneous data types, for example, mixtures of strings, dates, and numerical values, which are important when working with data. It also gracefully handles missing data. It is imported using the canonical name PD. SciPy provides a set of key algorithms, such as methods to optimize nonlinear functions, or to perform numerical integration. It also contains a key module that provides methods to manipulate random variables. Matplotlib provides the building blocks as well as a user API for plotting and data visualization. We will also see how the Seaborn package can be used to improve the out-of-box aesthetics of Matplotlib. The key Matplotlib module is PyPlot, which is imported using the canonical name PLT. Finally, Stats Models provides a wide range of statistical models, such as OLS for cross-sectional analysis and ARMA for time series analysis. The two key modules are statsmodels.api and statsmodels.tsa.api, which are canonically imported as SM and TSA, respectively. Start by opening Lesson 3's notebook. First, import NumPy and run the cell. This lets us access the types and functions provided by NumPy. The key type is an array, which we can create using numpy.array parentheses, followed by a list containing 1, 2, and 3. Running the cell shows the string representation of the array. Let's go ahead and import all of the core modules using the basic form of the import statement. Running this cell does not produce any output since importing modules does not print anything. Importing the module does make VS Code aware of the module and allows us to use autocomplete. For example, entering statsmodels.tsa.api. makes a list of the available types and functions appear. We can use the arrow keys to scroll in the list and enter to select a member. We can use the as keyword to import NumPy as NP. This lets us use array through np.array. 
Running this cell shows the array created is identical. We can now import the core set of modules using their canonical name with the as keyword. Visual Studio Code will offer completion for submodules when importing modules. Running this cell also doesn't produce any output. It should execute quickly since the modules have been previously imported and so we are just assigning the short name. We can now use TSA in place of statsmodels.tsa.api. Entering TSA dot produces the same list of completions as the full module name. We can import array using the from form of an import statement. This lets us create an array using only the function array without connecting it to a module. Running this cell produces the same output as the previous cells. We can finish the notebook by importing the other functions and types. If we look at the variable explorer using the icon at the top of VS Code, we see that it shows function names and types, but not modules. This explorer is more useful when we have created our own variables. Import is used to add essential types and functions to the small set of built-in features of Python. Modules are imported using one of three forms. The first two import modules, and the final method imports specific functions and types for modules. The import statement that assigns a short name is the standard method to import key members of the PyData ecosystem.